Hello everybody, MagusX here, the Volatile Gamer. Today I'm going to show you a little fix for a launch batch file that you may be having with your Minecraft servers or your Tekkit servers or your Bucket servers. Now in this case I'm using it for Tekkit, but it's uh, relatively the same fix and reason why it happens for the other Bucket servers as well. So let's take a look. Here it says, unable to access jar file tekkit.jar. Now there's two reasons why this may happen. One is rather the actual launch.bat is set up with the incorrect name, so it's trying to open up something that the file actually Actually isn't called or it just needs to have the relative path so let me show you some fixes here let's start by opening up the launch.bat and this is where we're gonna have to fix it so in this case it says tech.jar now to recreate the issue on my end I had to rename the actual tech.jar because by default I don't have this problem I'm just trying to show you guys so one thing you're gonna to want to make sure is make sure that they're both named the exact same thing so in this case I would have to name it tech.jar as normal and it would work for me now it may not still work for you so that would cause you to have to do the second fix now to fix it all you have to do is open up your tech server folder where the launch.bad and the actual tech.jar is and just click up here at the top and you'll see here how it changes the uh, the text so you can actually select it so we're gonna cut that text and we're gonna go ahead and put it right into the launch.bat so I'll paste it right out in front of the tech.jar like such and um, notice you have to add a few things at this point one is you're gonna want to add a backward slash in between your actual what you just pasted and the tech.jar so it continues the actual path properly and you also are going to want to add quotations at the beginning like that and at the end so once again you're adding quotations right in front of the C for your C drive or whatever drive it may be for you and right after the R of dot jar okay and that should be good so let's save that and we're gonna close it and let's try to launch again don't forget you will have to shut off your server for these changes to get effect all right so let's launch it and you'll see here it does actually instead look in the uh, the path that I gave it and you can see that it is loading properly so that's it for today well, like I said this could work for bucket servers too but as a bucket server all you'd have to do is one make sure that the launch.bat or whatever your batch file is called is has the same name as the craft bucket version R5 whatever it is and if that doesn't work then also add the path like I did here in this video so hopefully that was helpful for you guys if it was please give me a like give it as many likes as you can and uh, share with your friends if they have the same issues too. So once again, this is Magus X Volatile Gamer. Subscribe for daily content with like tutorials and let's plays and have yourself a great day. Bye bye.